We're out here at what we call Morningside Gap. It's actually just off of Morningside. This thing's massive. I used to call it like this giant cliff gap back in the day, and there's some crazy tricks that have gone down on it. Before we actually get into this gap, we're actually gonna go take a look at Morningside Manny, which is actually just up the street. We're gonna end off out here as well, just because there's so many crazy tricks that have gone down, and we definitely wanna dive into all the things that were memorable at this spot. With that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so we are gonna get into the Morningside Gap, and I know that's what a lot of you guys are here for. We are just here down the street right now at the Down Manny. It's a pretty iconic one for us who grew up close to Scarborough and in the greater Toronto area. It's actually just at a Dorito slash Lay's factory. You do get kicked out at this spot, and right now it actually seems pretty busy. We're actually kind of on like the more mellow side of it. If you look right here, there's all these parking spots and there's cars in the way, but there's a steeper side that's kind of more preferred in my opinion. You go faster and it's just better when the cars are parked there. You kind of just have to opt out for this side. But a lot of tricks have gone down on this spot and we're gonna go through a lot of like the more tech tricks and we'll obviously shout out a lot of the locals as well. I wanna definitely focus on some of the harder tricks. Mike Schiffer was one of the first people I actually saw skate this spot. Just all of them session the manual pad and getting multiple tricks on this. And for me growing up from Ajax, watching those guys looking up to them, it was something that I always like, made me always wanna come to this spot and wanna get tricks on it. And, just seeing like can do the kickflip manual and everyone else's tricks on it was definitely a bit of inspiration for me. Adam Reed as well, around that same time, switched back 180 to manual. Jeff Smith, I can remember him doing a nollie flip manual on this and a fakie ollie fakie manny on it. And that was back in like 2005. So I always really liked those tricks when I was growing up and seeing them. Ryan Buxton, he did heel flip manual and Chris Peroff also did that back and switching it up. Dry share, he did kickflip lockup to nose manny. He used to give me shit back in the day for doing my lockup nose manis when I was learning them, and then I only learned them because he was doing them. But shout out to Ryshare. Cody Brown did some sick tricks on this one as well. Did a few fakie big spin variations, fakie big spin manual, front side 180 out, and fakie big spin nose manual, nolly back 180 out too, which is actually one of my favorite tricks to go down on the manual pad. Ryan Buxton, he also did fakie big spin manual on this as well. Zach Bird, fakie big spin manny back 180. Shout out to Riley Medill, he did it as well. So it's a down manny, it is a curb. A lot of these tricks are gonna go down multiple times by multiple people. It's hard to do like an MBD at this spot, but there is a ton of them that have actually gone down. Wade Power, he had some pretty good tricks. He actually did them on the steeper side, which was nice to see. He did the uh, half cab heel manual and front side half cab manual, front 180 out too, also in his slub bucks part. Shout out to Wade, stoked to get him in a video. Usually he's in like the filmer end of things, but he definitely is a, a really good skateboarder as well. So he did some good tricks. TJ Rogers, he had some really sick tricks on this one. And then like the most thugged out tricks, he does switch shove revert manual front side 180 out. And he's got like the baggy clothes, the, the toque all up. And I don't know, I just, I always love the style on those. He also did Nolly Triplet manual 180 out. So it's worth it. Justin Fabis, he did switch front shove Manny on this one. In his uh, state your name part, Richard Gagnon in finesse. He did varial flip manual and fakey front heel Manny. Obviously doesn't have that much character to it, but I think that the thing that brought it to life and what really made it special was in the background, you can see the Doritos and Lay's chip trucks just sitting back there. And I don't know, I, th I, th I always thought that that looked kind of cool. And then of course you have the water tower in the background as well. A couple tricks that I filmed here was Daniel Spreel. He did switch front 180, Manny back 180. And then Daniel Everson, his trick on this, he was also a filmer. And to see him get clips on this was fucking sick. He did varial flip Manny back 180 and just like the most gangst back 180. Peanut did nose bonk on this. I guess it's a Manny pad because he nose bonked it. And then he did pop shove Manny and fucking ate shit. Jermaine did a uh, regular front one up the, like over the pad, and then switch front one, nose Manny 180. TJ Rogers also did switch 180, nose Manny 180 out in finesse. Chris Shannon, he did Nollie Heel Manual, and that was in the Always Rollin' video. And then Jordan Moss also did Nollie Heel Manual. Imshan, Sheriff, he did fakie big flip Manny. Zach Bird, he did half cap flip manual, and Behan also did half cap flip manual, but with the 180 out. He also did 
fakey shove switch manny and he got that right as it started to rain and you can actually see in the clip there's like raindrops and stuff on the ground and the clouds are like forming it's like about to pour and he's just like yeah funny edit starting of the video adam sandler is talking about bunting bunt b-u-n-t in perfect cursive any more brain busters? <laughs> Behan does, uh, I think it was one of the first clips in that video. He does switch off body burial, manual. He did one to regular and then back 180 out. Let's talk about me, all right? I might have sessioned this a little bit. I might have come here a lot. You know, I like to do tricks on manual pads. It's what I do, all right? Varial heel flip Manny. I did that the same day I did half cap flip Manny on it. Those are the first times I ever did both of those tricks on anything. That's kind of what made me want to keep coming back was like I realized that this was a spot that I could just learn tricks on and just have clips. So then later on, I ended up coming back doing varial heel flip Manny back 180 out. I also did a line that Ryan filmed. I did a half cap flip on flat. And then uh, came around and did 180 fakie manny. And also shout out to Adam Reed as well, because he also did a 180 fakie manny. When I was doing that trick, I was kind of trying to pay homage to Adam Reed for that one. Another trick that I got that never really made it anywhere, I did fakie frontside flip manual 180 on it. First and only time I've ever done that trick. Best trick that I've done on the manny pad was a uh, fakie big heel manny. That one was a bitch. We had to come here four times for that one. It was a battle and we ended up getting it. Beaster in Slub Bucks, he did tray flip nose manny 180. Also, I put that in like maybe the top five tricks to go down. That's pretty fucked. Bobby DeKaiser, he did switch heel manny on this. And that actually leads us into Mitch Donovan. And we actually got him here, so we're gonna get him to talk about some of his tricks, but he did some uh, really sick tricks on this as well, including the switch heel manny. He just had a whole day where he seshed it. I think back in the day, there was a sesh where I'm pretty sure I did a nollie inward heel manny on it but that clip is probably long gone. I think we were in between spots and I just had a good day of manis that day. I did a, a switch varial heel manny and then I went on to nollie tray to manny and then a fakey tray to switch manny as well. It was kind of a bust back in the day too, but uh, it's more so about the cars in the parking spot wanting to go in that spot where it makes it a little more legit. It's a little longer and a little steeper. Like I said, probably the only downhill mani that we had that was worth filming a trick on. TJ Rogers, he did half cab heel flip nose mani 180 on it. Show me the balcony looking over the hat. Nope. <laughs> Will Marshall. He has one of the best tricks to go down on this in his slub buck part. Fakey frontside flip nose manny, 180 out. <laughs> and then I gotta give the uh, the ender of this spot to, to Mike Maines in his K by part on the steepest part of the manny pad. He does switch backside flip nose manual, 180 out. So that's the tricks that we're gonna highlight at this spot. There's obviously probably so many more that have gone down. Let's go back to Morningside Gap, get a little bit more crazy with the tricks that are gonna be in this video. Jesus. Like it's not as tall as I remember. I know, in my like, head it was a lot bigger when I skated it. I remember being taller, but. Definitely slanted a bit. Not like yeah. it makes a huge difference, but definitely makes it seem that little bit lower than it was, but. Uh, yeah, it's still a huge gap for like any serious trick to be done on. It's. Oh, we're just <laughs> filming a school project. Is that okay? Sure, we'll school project. Maybe I want to get in. Oh, that'd be cool. So what we're doing is like history on skateboarding. We're not actually skateboarding today, but we're just talking about like what's gone down in the past. Yeah. Obviously, there's a sign that you can't even skateboard on it anymore. And you know why we put that sign? Oh, in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Of us, yeah. But we just wanted to kind of talk about and go down memory lane from like things that happened. 10 years ago. Yeah, I'm cool with all that. Yeah. Our, our concern was liabilities if you guys got injured or anything. Oh, like yeah, none of that. No. I'm too old not, now. Yeah, not today. <laughs> I don't like jumping down stuff. <laughs> I don't like jumping down stuff this big anymore. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. 10 all years right. ago was a different story. Yeah. Right don't bring any nuts or. Of course. We won't be touching Thanks, it. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that guy was cool, though. He was chilling. Before the guy actually came out, like this spot 
did used to have someone used to come out and just barge out and scare you just like that. Yeah. And kind of surprise you and be like, hey, Maybe what are you doing? It could have been that guy. There's another door back there too. I yeah. feel like they'd come out there sometimes, but it's very weird. Like I was telling Behan, I haven't been, obviously had no reason to come back to this thing since I did the fakie tray on it. We're actually only two minutes up the road from the Manny pad. So many people skated that for years and this was never found. And it was just another hidden gem that uh, Peanut's brother Rob happened to find. He was always finding spots in Scarborough. I don't usually like making claims, but I want to say that I might have been one of, if not the first person to skate this thing. Cause I know like the sidewalk up top and that ledge there was like fresh white cement when I was here for, um, I know we don't have the clip for it, but we'll see if we can Got dig the up photo. the photo of uh, switch heel that I did on it when I first yeah. came here with Rob. Kind of always reminded me of this one spot, like P-Rod switch heel in one of those old parts. It could have been like a me, myself, and I part, but it was oh, like... Oh yeah, I, I was like, what are you skating? I've never seen that. Where the hell you, even is that? Yeah, you started calling it a cliff. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> it's, uh, it's no joke. The hardest part about it, the landing is slightly downhill and it's like so slight that you don't even really notice it on film. But when you're skating it, obviously you do. At the time, I think what affected me more was the sidewalk cracks. Over time, people ended up bondoing at least the first few here. But the fakie tray, man, like that, that's another battle of a trick for me. Like, I think most of my tricks that I've done down stuff, anything like this, was always like, what's the biggest thing that I can do this trick on? And this just happened to be it for the fakie tray. And uh, <laughs> somehow, like, yeah, this this just happened to be the one. Like, you, I you honestly chose the cliff. Yeah, yeah, I honestly don't know what possessed me to, because like, like I said, I did Satan? the switch heel, <laughs> and then I think just more people skating it, and like, I guess the idea came into my head when I had fakie trays down. Like I said, I was just always on the hunt for like the biggest, but also most comfortable-ish thing I could do a trick on, and. Definitely my most favorite fakey tray and one of my favorite clips overall for sure. It's crazy like talking about how it's like 14 years ago almost. I know I came back at least four if not five times for that trick. TJ Tyndale shot the photo mm -hmm. that ended up being a recognize in uh, SBC. If I wasn't breaking a board, I was landing and slipping out so bad because of that slight slope. Like The slope is weird though because it's like it slopes down straight but it also but it, is like a driveway exactly. that goes down this way too. So, so it's, it's like, like two different yeah. angles. I honestly don't think I could have done a better one on anything else. So relieved I hit the curb and just let go like i just fully <laughs> let go and hit the ground and then yeah tj comes and runs over and Ooh. screams in my face like so hyped for me that was sick look it i'm amazed <laughs> motherfucker oh my god aside from your trick what do you think is the best trick or thing that has gone down on this spot well i'm i'm never gonna put myself first like that even though i would say fakie tray is one of the hardest. I would probably put switch big heel up there. I remember hearing about it and seeing the clip and being like, how the hell did you do that's that? That's another like, one of those ones where I was like, that's a cliff. Like, yeah, that's, what are you dude, doing like skating he, a fucking cliff? Doing the hardest possible trick you can think of. You know what's weird too though is like this, it was never, you can kind of see it downhill yeah. now and slanted, but it yeah. was always flat in my head anyways. It may be like over time, like this whole run up has been slanted, which makes it seem even lower. I don't it's know. erosion, man. Yeah. Science. Chad Wilson's tricks are fucked. Thank oh, you, full cab, cab on yeah. it. In Wilker Safaro's Slub Bucks part. Yeah. And I got to shout out Josh Forgs on it too for the switch frontside flip. Yeah. A little hand touch. That's the bank doing its thing, right? Exactly. It's like, he's just trying to get away from that ride away. A couple other tricks that have gone down. Tray flip, Will Marshall. Josh Forgs also did kick flip, switch front one, boneless, like a mute grab or something.
And then Kevin Teo, he did Ollie and then also Back 180 in a summer throwaway montage by Kyle Perry. But still I got flavor, without a gun in the badge, what do you got? So what would you say your favorite trick on this spot is? Aside from Mitch's fakie tray and TJ's switch big heel, TJ's nollie heel. Pretty sure that was in an old, one of his digital parts. I feel like it didn't get enough shine when it was in his part too. It was just like a quick clip that played. And also I got to say that too about the switch big heel. Yeah, it was played in slow-mo and he lands it, but it's just, it just cuts the clip so fast in the way it was edited. I remember just seeing that in the park, just be like, holy fuck, and then it was gone. Yeah. And I was like, oh, damn. Like, the edit was sick, don't get me wrong. I love the editing, and it flowed. It, like, obviously, you gotta edit and have a good flow to it. Obviously, his fakie big spin that he did twice. Oh, yeah. Two different t-shirts. Yeah, and so it, you could tell. Both perfect. And they're both, and like, there was no need for a second one. Maybe he wanted, like, a photo or something. I don't know. Sierra Fellers, he did half cap flip on this. Wade Power filmed it. That's insane. Like, that's a really hard trick to do down gaps. You don't see that one too often as well. Talking about favorites, it's hard to pick. It because is. this spot has so little tricks that have gone down on it and I got to put a half guy flip I love that trick I like doing that one so that's a tough trick for a spot like this for right sure. but what's sick is that Sierra Fellers is actually not from here at all he was just you know visiting down here filming with Wade and Jordan and those guys and he did get a lot more clips while he was down here as well and he got some indoor clips as well at the Lansdowne rail so in the winter time we're actually going to take you down to all the indoor spots the subway stations path in Toronto all that and you'll get to see more clips of Sierra Fellers in there too. If you've made it this far in the video, definitely subscribe to the channel for those future videos and hit the like button while you're at it. How do you feel working so hard to do a trick <laughs> for it to be four seconds in the, in the edit? Yeah, that's, uh, it's so bittersweet because it's like just to be over in like five, six seconds in a video part, it's like a slight slap in the face <laughs> of like you put all that work in and- And it's gone. And it's gone. When you land it good, it's worth it, even, <laughs> even if it's only for five, six seconds of an edit, but it's definitely, like I said, a little bittersweet there. But that's the thing with the edit that, like your part with the Kanye and Moss Def yeah. two word song, like just the way that was edited, and like we're going back to talk about like editing and the flow. This is why we like to talk about it and actually show the clips from the video parts too, is like the editing and the, the songs from the video parts, that's part of the nostalgia as well. Yeah. That's why we like to keep them in. The way yours was edited right before the switch try on the double, before your ender, it's your second last trick in the part right. that you and Mark shared. It gives you like chills. The way it was like, just the way the song's ending, it's very epic. Yeah. And I remember being at the Slubbucks premiere and <laughs> just being like, what the f <laughs> Am I watching right now? Yeah. Happy fucking ending, dude. <laughs> Talk about a happy ending. Not too many tricks have gone down on this, but we definitely had to come here and check out some iconic tricks that have gone down on such a crazy spot. My favorite trick is definitely Mitch's fakie tray. Fakie tray definitely takes the cake. What do you We're gonna play it again. You think you would have done something on this? V-heel? Fuck no. No, you don't think so? Nope. I think you could have V-heeled it. Uh, I would have bunted it, if anything. I'd rather try backside flip at this point. Do you think you could have done that? I think you could have done that. I know how I skate when it comes to gaps. I'm just not good when it comes to committing and I'm really good at getting hurt before I can get the trick. Yeah. So that would be my only issue. Like obviously I could do it, but yeah. Oh, that ship has sailed. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. If you guys liked the video, thank you guys so much for watching. First of all, let us know what spot we should do next. Leave it down in the comments below. Join the Discord. Join the Discord. Yeah. We'll leave a link right above Ryan's. My head. Right above his head there. Yeah. So. Give a click over here, join that Discord. And yeah. uh, if you made it this far and you, you're actually enjoying the videos, subscribe. We put out a video every single Saturday at 11.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So we appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.